Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I'm very glad you're here. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, my name is Martin and I do perfume reviews. So if you're interested in such content, don't hesitate, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And to all my returning subscribers, welcome as well. You are appreciated as always. And as you can see by the title, I'm going to talk about Zara's newest launch, which is a fragrance I was very excited about and I couldn't wait to try this fragrance. I actually bought this fragrance today. I gave it a whole wear test and here I am with the review. The fragrance I'm going to talk about is Red Temptation, the winter edition. It's this one here and let me show you the packaging. Let me start with the packaging. So this is the packaging, nothing too exciting. You know, it's red, it's paper. It looks more or less like all the other packagings they have. Um, in their sortiment and the fragrance. I was really curious how this fragrance is going to smell. I actually thought, and many people actually thought that this is going to be a dupe for a Baccarat Rouge 540DX Street version, which I have here with me. But when I tried this fragrance, I was actually shocked because this reminded me of another fragrance that I have in my collection. Let me show the atomizer. Yeah, the scent, it's just so beautiful and let me tell you which fragrance this actually reminds me of. It's Oud for Glory by La Tafor. Actually, the original one, which is Oud for Greatness by Inicio. So this is the fragrance it actually reminds me of. And I'm not sure yet if this is supposed to be a dupe for this fragrance, but it smells very similar. The only big difference is in the opening, it's definitely sweeter and you get a heavier suffer note. And it's definitely more similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. This actually smells like how I expected this fragrance here to smell, but it doesn't. Like many people say that this fragrance actually smells a lot like Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't get the vibe. The only similarity this fragrance shares with Baccarat Rouge is the sulfur note and the burnt sugar. But this one here smells a lot like Baccarat Rouge 540 and definitely also like Oud for Greatness. And this fragrance. I think it's just so beautiful. It's definitely perfect for winter and for the colder days. From the notes, you have saffron, you have jasmine, and you also have patchouli and cedarwood. This is the information I got so far. I don't think they have other notes in here. This is a very sweet and oriental fragrance. For you to enjoy this fragrance, you have to enjoy oriental fragrances. This is very creamy in the dry down especially, which I love. I feel like I smell vanilla or kind of tonka bean as well, but also the woods and the saffron, which I love because saffron is definitely one of my favorite notes. Saffron is definitely a very popular note um, and they use saffron in many, many other fragrances right now. So yes, this is Red Temptation, the winter edition. In my opinion, this is definitely a unisex fragrance. Um, this is in the women's section. But yes, it's unisex, just like Baccarat Rouge 540 is, and also Oud for Greatness or Oud for Glory, depends on which one you have here. And what really actually surprised me was the lasting power, because I, as I said, gave this one, gave this one a whole wear test. I sprayed this one on my hand in the morning, and I got around two to three hours heavy projection, more or less. This one definitely projects heavier and stronger, than the other Red Temptation they have um, in Zara. So yeah, it is long lasting. I wouldn't say this is a bismuth fragrance, but it's for a Zara fragrance, very long lasting and also very inexpensive. Like all the Zara fragrances are, you can get this fragrance for around 18 euro. So I paid 17.95. So yes, under 20 euro. In my opinion, this is an even better dupe for Inicio Oud for Greatness than Oud for Glory by La Tafa, which I have in my collection. I do like both of them because the big difference is this one fragrance here is definitely a decent fragrance. It performs a lot, it projects a lot. This is very heavy and very dense, not a people pleaser, or at least this can be something that's a little overwhelming for other people. But in my opinion, this one here is like the lighter version. So this is lighter, it's creamier, it's sweeter, easier to wear in my opinion, as I said, especially for the colder days. And I feel like if you try Oud for Glory and, it, and you didn't like it because you thought this is too strong and too heavy, then you should definitely give this one a try. This is an all-rounder. I think this could be a signature scent. This is 
perfect for date night. This fragrance is very intoxicating, very seductive, very sensual, and it has something mysterious about it. And it's probably like the earthy patchouli mixed with the jasmine. It's also very luxurious in my opinion. Like, as you can see, I can't stop raving about this fragrance, but I'm very happy that I tried it because I don't know when exactly they launched it. I was in Zara like two or three weeks ago and I didn't sell it. Like, and then online, a few days ago I saw that they're launching or have launched a new fragrance and I was like okay I have to check it out today's Monday I'm uploading it tomorrow so probably when you're going to watch this review it's going to be Tuesday and yes I mean I couldn't wait I'm very happy very satisfied with this fragrance I feel like this is one of the best fragrances they have in their sortiment so far this is definitely going to be my top three Zara fragrances so I'm also going to repurchase this this is also backup worthy so i don't i mean they always have fragrances in stock and if they don't have it they restock it so you don't have to worry but i'm definitely going to get myself a backup bottle and also a bottle for my boyfriend because he also enjoys this fragrance so much and the funny thing is actually he smelled ufo glory and he was like okay it's it's nice he likes it but it's nothing he's too enjoying too much let's say like that but when he tried this one here he was just um amazed and mesmerized instantly like he really just enjoys this fragrance as much as I do and yes a big recommendation give this one a try I definitely would say that this is a safe blind boy if you like saffron fragrances if you like oriental fragrances if you like wood for glory and also Arabian Stanka like Arabian Stanka by Montal is a fragrance I have in my collection as well I love this fragrance so much and this goes like more into that Arabian's Tonka kind of direction, but I probably I think that this is probably a dupe for Oud for Greatness by Anisio. So yes, this is the review overall. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I would really like to know what are your thoughts on this fragrance. If you have tried it and if you didn't, please tell me in the comment section what you think about this fragrance. I would really like to know if you're as hyped as I am because I really just love this fragrance so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, please hit the like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon for another review. Thank you.